the chart is used for representing graphical data which is useful to our uh, senior company persons to save time what happened when we have some numbers suppose we have sales of some extent we can see the difference we can see the difference here which is uh, which is greater which is lower we can see easily here but when this number increased in lakhs and crores then it would be uh, difficult to identify which value is higher but in the shape of charts you can easily identify uh, this one is going higher okay mm. so uh, for this yeah. uh, thing we use a chart for comparison for graphical representation we use chart so chart has some edit options i just put some months here title here and then so a column chart so column chart in every chart there is a main thing is that we should know about each and every content of chart this is our title this we call title this we call legend and we have a chart area the white background behind the chart and this we call plot area this grid lines uh, in grid lines there is a plot area and these are called axis vertical axis and horizontal axis and uh, these are called series or columns okay so every uh, thing have different formatting which you can found by right clicking and format chart area and if you uh, right click on title you can format chart title so just go to format chart area see we need not to again, uh, again and again right click on the particular thing and uh, open this you select one thing it will be changed according to that you select legend it will be changed as legend legend options you select title it will be changed as chart titles such as plot area chart area so we have selected chart area and we are going to fill some colors here we can choose some color from here here it is not showing because it is plot area either we can select no fill so that uh, the plot area can be transparent and the background can affect on that so let's have talk about chart area so we have solid fill we can select single color in gradient fill we have choices of colors such as i choose this color i can choose the transparency to see the background here i can choose my gradient positions hmm this gradient effect just moving down moving up the direction you can choose from here it should be in middle by side Uh, there are a lot of other option of so radial rectangular 
that preset colors we have which is this chrome setting you can add a stops from here so there are a lot of settings here which can be done for charting to make your shape better and after that you can choose your border color border color if you click outside this is the border so what border color should be there you can choose or there should be border or not so you can choose no fill also in chart area no nine okay so there is no line here border style there are uh, several border styles which you can choose and see and you can increase the points so basically these are formatting option border color or fill means mm -hmm. internal color border color means uh, border color outside border boundary line border style you can choose the lines from here mm -hmm. yeah uh, or dashed border you cho choose cap type square round it is the mm. capping between the dashes mm. join type meter it is not important so rounded corner you want so here be some curvy look here will find mm. in shadow you can have lot of presets of Oh, but for shadow you need to have some color in that there yeah. then you can choose your color for shadow i choose black and then size what should be the size of the shadow how much transparency should be in shadow mm. it should be look like shadow size we can choose how much blur it should be what angle it should be there it's like the angle and at how much distance it should be there so shadow settings are there so to make your chart attractive and give some 3d type look in 3d format you can choose your uh, a lot of 3d format for charts it look like uh, 3d different mm. different these are the materials basically it is not used in that it it shows that uh, your color or the material or for which material it is designed it is not used here it is used in autocad i think mm. 3d max they use lightning warm lighting it's a light, light effects are there but i don't think it is important but you can yeah. choose as per you want so next we go with if you select the grid lines so it has different formatting if you don't want grid lines you can just uh, select and delete them press delete mm. it will never appear i just i'll get out try select that plot area or grid lines delete that it will never appear so you can disappear the grid lines 
and now we uh, take plot area and same filling options and you have pictures and textures here you can choose pictures here from any file you can choose the picture clip art the excel have some uh, pictures already there so you can use these pictures and transparency of that some watermark type you can add in that company's logo or something you can add in between border colors are same gradient solid line and border tile shadow and 3d formatting all are same next we go with title title has uh, all the same things different it has alignment where it should be situated uh, vertical alignment alignment is like uh, our normal alignment but it will not work here if we put here more than one word then it will appear here something text direction what should be that it should be like this that text direction then we come to legend legend has some options first has legend position where it should be in top bottom left right top right so we can choose here yeah. and fill we can choose the filling of that border are same shadows uh, we can make transparent it is it's about shadow we can give shadows here now uh, we go to axis in axis we have a lot of points first axis options categories in reverse order here you can say january february march april june july if we choose that reverse order so from july you can see here in reverse order then these these are some tick marks here so you can choose tick marks if you don't want tick marks you can minor you can add some minor tick marks and that minor and major these tick marks are available axis label where it should be situated your axis label high low none you should not be there or not next to axis and it has some number formatting also you can provide number formatting if there is numbers like this one we can add some number formatting here we select this value and go in number formatting and change it to currency for currency format okay so it will apply number formatting here in fill we can fill our colors and what we want to highlight line color same thing line should be there or not shadow 3d format and alignment alignment are 
have same option vertical alignment so here we need not to worry because there are single words only text direction you can choose how it should display so these all about this thing now we come to this one column section so column in column section you have series option how you want to show your chart separated or overlapped if you choose over overlapped it will not work here because it needs two columns for that and this option will work where when there are two data so i choose first sale and second target so we have this one if we want to increase our chart chart area just drag this one to down it will automatically include all all other columns so we have two legends now sales and target and we can go for format data series so format data series separated and overlap in overlapping it will uh, come over the your second column how much overlap to it should be you can select or you want gap in between you can choose gap from here you can choose the gap if you don't want gap just gap between these two columns this series so different series fill options are same border color shadow style 3d format rest of all options are same okay so these are formatting points for chart the column chart is used for comparison where we have some less data okay now let's take another example where we can use our more charts for flow we use suppose we have a large series here it's going along so we can use our line chart in between okay line chart is to see for the flow of data where the flow going and for if you have large data then you apply this type of chart and for showing sharing how much uh, you are displaying market share or profit share so you will uh, always use that pie chart here we have some value
okay, showing share we use this our pie chart okay in pie chart we can right click and format the values here we have option when we right click we have I option add data labels in column chart also you can add these data labels I have not shown here just right click on that just add data label the values which are there in data it will show it will be visible to you and when you click something it will be applicable on selection only if you want to show in sing on single column you just click again that it will select the single thing single column so here I added data label now if you choose data label property format data label so we have options number formatting we can choose if we want in show to show the values in currency we can choose the number format and if we want we can add show the series name here category name here okay we can show where we want to show in center inside and inside base outside and so we can show it from here here we need if we want to show in center so we need some alignment here because the text is coming like this so we go in alignment tab and there we can choose the text direction so it will be coming like this one so you can format these as well such as when you are showing share of every person so you can use pie chart you have format data label and here you can add series name category name one thing if you want to show the percentage of share what they are holding so you can choose percentage here and it will display the percentage here where you want to show center side and outside and best fit outside so you can select from here but suppose there are some more data suppose we have very less values in our two three fields so what we will do what the problem goes here that you can't you will not able to see the small values here it makes so complicated to understand so for this if you have some uh, uh, here huge difference between the values you can use pi of a pie chart this one pi of a pie and here you can choose that what should be in your next pi extension should be separated or joint these the lesser values you can see here you want to uh, show two last two values or last three values it is as for you okay. I added last three values it is shown here and add data label so you can 
ही द शेयर परसेंटेज है तो समटाइम्स इट रिक्वायर्ड यू कैन सेपरेट द चार्ट बाई सेलेक्टिंग पॉइंट Now suppose this chart is linked from uh, these uh, from these values. I don't want to uh, want that the value should be linked by this chart. I want that this chart should contain its values only. So I just select what is there in that. it has a series formula in series formula what happens it takes first reference as a title here it is taking as a legend title second parameter it so it uh, carries for that axis by taking reference of these axis it creates the second column the third parameter it takes the value the what value should, uh, the series should contain and this last thing uh, causes the index position see i have selected the brown one here or red one here in second position blue one in first if i want to put red one on first position i just change here and when i click the position changed so i don't want to uh, be linked the chart here so what i do when i select a value uh, select a parameter and press f9 what happened it converts it calculates so it has given me the target here and it detach from link here i have taken value now i am going to next and select What is that F9 we have to use, no, sir? Yes, yes, F9. In every formula you can use that. When I press Enter, now I select so no linking it is showing here. So by that in curly braces, if we put uh, these values in curly braces, we put these values. So it need not uh, have a reference in sheets. Okay. same thing we do with hmm. blue ones because it has different chart you select a press f9 select f9 here You select F9 and press Enter. So now this chart is not linked from here. Okay, it is a separate chart. Which is not depend on any visible values. now how to create a chart here a blank chart i just insert a chart here without selecting any data it is a blank chart right click 
select data here you can add data chart data range we need not have selection here just click on the legend side this is your legend entry series and this is your category entry so i add legend series name i choose sales and series value i choose this one so i added and next series i add this target and here i choose this one okay so sales target okay what happened here i i just added this one and here i select this i just press okay so both the value sale targets are here here it is showing 12347 cause i have not given the title here for horizontal category so just select from here press okay okay the chart is ready so there are some predefined formats if you want to apply in a, it will come under that chart tool design chart layouts mm -hmm. the most used format is this one with data itself okay you find this format very general it it is easy to understood okay yeah so you can cho choose your change layout you can if you want to change some colors or styles you can directly change from here the chart style switch column Switch row and column. If sometimes what happened, we don't know what values should become in row and what should become in uh, uh, columns. So we can change from here. Switch row column. Instantly it will be changed. Okay. In layout option, it has some. Um, few options outside here for everything for plot area chart area legend data levels so mm. there are few options here so we need not to take much tension for remembering all the fields it is available here okay Oh. Um, suppose you have some column charts here, or some. I say I have a data for banks. This is some data, and it is for banks, SBI, and PNB. I change the design. So it has two months data, but uh, somewhere it is uh, it is uh, not. We have to take reference that which one is which one from here from the legend. Or oh, it is red, then it is for SBI. So for this problem. what we need that i want to put a logo here so how will i put on the series just see i just uh, go on google 
and search the logo of SBI suppose I want to select this one or I can select this one so I just save uh, copy image paste it here no, no here outside I paste then I rotate this one and crop from format crop so that the required image can be here only so this one I need ok now I press control C go to this one right click format data series in fill picture and texture fill we have clipboard just click on keep clipboard what you have copied will be pasted here ok or you can directly select that and press control V mm -hmm. ok so this is uh, your option and here you have logo but you don't want to show uh, uh, an image if you want to create by own just in insert from shapes suppose I here I want to create some images for PNB I choose this one from home I just increase the font size make it bold and then what I do I just press control C and then I go in paste special and paste as a picture so what it does it converts the shape into a picture ok now why we don't have directly pasted this one into columns because it has some blank areas so for removing these blank areas I have make it as a picture and selected the right alignment here I copy that so that it should not look bad ok now I just rotate this one press control C select this one control V so now I have my customized logo a customized chart ok I do one more thing suppose I have uh, done a lot of hard work creating this chart and I want a same chart to be made here or everywhere for this chart I want it should be look like this so what I do I just go to on chart press control C after selection of chart then I go to next chart and here by selecting this one this chart I go to in paste a special and here I can use formats paste special format so all formats will be applied in the this chart also Hmm. which is the fastest way for copying 
a chart formatting yeah okay sir so uh, tomorrow we will do some advanced charting options okay okay so, uh, these are some general options so tomorrow we will do yeah. advanced charting okay sir okay sir good night good night sir so uh,